What's going on guys and welcome to the very first guest slot here on the It Resolves channel. We have got the amazing Cairo MTG sharing an amazing deck list with you today. Please make sure and go check out his channel, subscribe to him, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey, it's Cairo. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. If you haven't seen me before, nice to meet you. Thank you for watching. I'm going to do a quick break, deck breakdown, and then we'll get into the games. There are three games, and I hope you enjoy them. This is Jeskai Hinata. Uh, we have a lot of powerful cards in here, and it basically is a combo deck at heart, though it can win just by playing high-value things on turn four, five, and six. Let me go from lowest to highest here. We have three flame blessed bolts. One mana, two damage, but the kicker here, not really a kicker, but the other additional thing here is that if something would die, it gets exiled instead. That is particularly potent against things like Tenacious Underdog, things like uh, the rune deck with the two drop that keeps coming back to hand, and other things in the meta. We have a spike field hazard, same deal. If you need one damage somewhere to a Planeswalker or something, you can do that. A lot of times when your opponent plays Lolth on you, they only have one uh, loyalty counter on Lolth after making Spiders, so you can get rid of that pretty quick. Voltage Surge, one mana, two damage, but also we can sack a treasure token if we need to get rid of a troublesome Angel with four toughness, or anything that's bigger that Flame Blessed Bolt and Spike Field Hazard can't deal with. We have four Jwari Disruptions for early game counters, plus... Sometimes late game counters too, when people tap out for big things. Uh, three, March of Swirling Mist. This is an interesting card if you haven't played with this before. It's one blue and X, and X creatures phase out. This can be used defensively to protect your creatures and offensively. One of the really cool things to do with this is if you have uh, five mana, you cast a Goldspan Dragon, you attack, you generate a treasure token, which with Goldspan out can be used for two mana. And then March of Swirling Mist is kind of like a get out of jail free card for your Goldspan Dragon when it gets targeted as long as you have one treasure token. Also, if you're really, really in a tight spot, you can exile blue cards from your hand to reduce the mana cost for this. Also great if your opponent's swinging in on you and say you have lethal next turn, but they have lethal now, just tap X mana, phase all their stuff out, and then you can swing in for lethal. To make disappear, you won't use the casualty effect on this too much, save for like an Obnixilis, or sometimes whenever you're countering a uh, mill. So we have that Teamer mill deck that's around right now, as well as Is It Mill, so the new Galvanic Iteration, Tasha's Hideous Laughter. You can do this, sacrifice a creature. You kind of don't want to. Um, you, all your creatures are really good in this deck, but if it saves you from being milled out, then you can always counter uh, two spells if they completely tap out. Negate, Countering Planeswalkers, Wandering Emperors, powerful non-creature spells. One Dragon's Fire, two damage, excuse me, three damage for two mana, or if you have a gold spin out, it's four. Expressive Iterations, these are great, particularly on turn two, if you can swing it, sometimes even three, or if you draw them later, they can draw you answers. Very powerful spell that was actually just banned in Explorer, I believe and Pioneer. Shatter Skull Smashing, good for wiping out multiple creatures, and if you have Hinata on the board, you can drastically reduce the cost because spells cost one less for each target. Meaning you tap two mountains, you tap three, and it only costs you two mountains if you're targeting, excuse me, two different creatures that cost you two mountains. Uh, Fable of the Mirror Breaker, this is all over the place right now. Uh, creates a 2-2 Red Goblin Shaman creature token. You attack with that, you get a treasure token. If you have a gold span on the field, that translates into two mana of any one color. And then the second step on it allows you to loot, discard two cards, grab two more cards. Sometimes when it's later in the game, you need to do that, discard a land, get a win con, and then you can exile it. And then that's where the real madness comes in. If you don't have Hinata out, you can have this copy Tap one and tap it and create a, a uh, token copy of another creature, aka Goldsman, and swing it with that, generate two treasures, and hit for eight in the air. Deck is based around Hinata Dawn Crown. This has been around since Kamigawa, so it's been a few months. 
It's making a resurgence. It was really big when Kamigawa first hit in standard. It's a four drop Jeskai Colors, a four four flying trample. Spells you cast cost one less to cast for each target, and spells your opponents cast cost one more to cast for each target. Keep in mind, not only does this affect March of Swirling Mist and things that target things on the board like Shatter Skull Smashing, but it also makes your counters cost one less if you're targeting a spell that is a target. So say you only have one blue mana open, but you have a negate, you're targeting a spell, you can negate for one blue mana. Goldspan Dragon, the all-star of Kaldheim, four of in this deck, and Magma Opus. So math is required here. One red, one blue, six. Deals four damage, divided as you choose among any number of targets. Tap two target permanents and create a four, four blue and red elemental creature token, then draw two cards. So you get four damage. If you target four things with Hinata on the board, that reduces the cost by four. That brings it to four mana. Then you tap two target permanents, that's two more targets, reduces it by another two. So you can Magma Opus if you target four permanents, then tap two permanents, that's a reduction of six, giving you a mana, uh, a Magma Opus for one red, one blue mana. Or you can tap any combination of red and blue in combination of two and discard it and create a treasure token if you're really, really in a tight spot. A lot of times you'll want to set a stop on your opponent's upkeep, do this on their turn. So when they untap all their lands, you can tap two of their lands down or their creatures and deal damage to them there. Kind of ruins their turn. Quasi extra turn for you, depending on what's on the board. One Hall of Storm Giants, basic island, basic mountain, two deserted beaches, three pathways in henge gate variety. You'll find that oftentimes this is your one planes that you need to get Hinata down, so pay attention on turns one, two, three, and four. Make sure you're lining up, if you have Hinata, to have at least one planes going. You're gonna need also two mountains by turn five if you wanna cast Goldspan Dragon on curve. That's why we also have River Glide Pathway, Lava Glide Pathway, Storm Card Coast, Needle Verge Pathway, and Sun Down Pass. Thank you very much. If this is your first time, Thank you for subscribing to Cairo MTG. I hope you enjoy and thank you for being on and joining the It Resolves channel and subscribing there. Enjoy. Okay, we're on the play. We have four lands. One of them is Jawari Disruption, two expressive iterations, and a fable. I think we can keep this. This is currently our only source of white, so we want to save that if we can. Go Storm Giants first, and then probably Lava Glide Pathway. Fiend's Tower, so we're playing Esper. What are the chances they have something on turn two to play? Probably not super high. Put a Gold Span in. Another Gold Span in the deck, we'll get rid of an iteration, because we already have one. But let them have a free turn two. Alright. Fable in. Two first there. Okay, we don't. Okay, not so bad. I didn't want to see Rafine there. We need to get rid of the Flame Blast Bolt, and we can probably get rid of the Iteration at this point. We need lands. Okay. No reason really to go for Hinata here, but they have shown that they use Vanishing Verse. They may have Rite of Oblivion in there too. Might be our only chance to get it down. Yeah, let's do that. Then if they take care of that, we'll go with Gold Span next turn. All right, this screams Emperor right here. So, since that's the case, we need to get that down on red for the Gold Span. And let's go in. And watch the Emperor come down. And 
and get worried. Then we'll just go ahead and... No reason to be greedy with the uh, Fable. We'll just hold up the other Jwari. Wolf, yes. Sounds good. Alright. Give me a land. Uh, it's not a land, but it's just as good. Gold span. Five. Set a stop on their upkeep. I believe we're gonna magma opus them. I'm gonna do this. Can we do it? One, two, three, four. Tap. Tap. Yeah, four there. Oh, it can't just be a different mana. All right. All right. No sweat. Then we'll make a copy of Goldspan next turn. I think we'll be good. Emperor. So they're going to exile Hinata now. <laughs> now that they know that we have the uh, Opus. I am almost sad to see you go. Alright, yeah, because they knew we are going to make a copy there. I was thinking we, we have two mana for a treasure, but I forget it's only one color. Good game. Did you guys catch that when you were looking? Did you say, like, only one color mana for the treasure? Nothing like revealing to the opponent you have the opus, right? Instead of stopping their upkeep, just like pause for a second. Yep. Achilles with. All right, opponent's going first this time. I don't know. This looks kind of rough. Depends on what we're up against. If we're up against like Boros. This is going to be a really fast game. All right. For the shot, white hot shot mechanic. All right. Now I wish we had a little cheap burn spell. Okay. I guess our best choice is to go Sundown Pass and then Misgate Pathway. Bet they're going to play... No, that's not what I thought. Going to be too quick. March of Swirling missed this out. And then we Fable next turn, put up a 2 2 shield. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of the negate. Could regret doing that, but I don't think so. This is just going to be way too quick. This is a weird version of Mono White with the Hotshot mechanic. I don't think that we're going to be able to get out of this, friends. I need a miracle. This is going to train. This trains for free for two turns if we don't kill the adversary. Actually, either way, because they have the Hotshot mechanic at three power. This is going to be rough. This is super rough, guys. All right, goblin, get in there and kill something. Nah. Alrighty then. Well, let's get rid of these. Uh, yep. Kill you. That's it. Good game.
ultra fast mono white with a hot shot mechanic. Okay, we have two flame blessed bolts. We have one red here. We'll probably put Shatter Skull smashing in first. Pay the life. This means all of our things come in untapped. Commune. Alright, so we're playing enchantments. Hallowed Haunting they got. Right. One into the hand. Hmm. Hinata. Might there to draw a card. I see. Wish we had one more red. Visitor, and then nothing. Okay, that's good. Wish we had another untapped red source, though. Guess we need to get that ready for the gold span. Sadly, can't really do anything here. We have to have a flame blessed bolt up to stop this generous visitor from getting out of hand. Haunting. Okay, we're going with gold span. Keep up treasure for another flame blessed bolt for whatever they play. Hopefully, it's two toughness. Okay, okay, okay. Get rid of this. Probably looking for another borrowed time, I would assume. Magma Opus would be a clutch draw right now. Showdown. Alright, Rune of Might makes another spirit. We're okay with that for now. Flame Blessed Bolt to keep this thing from getting, like, huge. Showdown. That's all their mana, though. Roof Speed, Hollow Haunting, Farmland. Do they have another enchantment to play? It's not an enchantment creature. Okay, no blocks. Yep, we'll discard both of those. Sounds great. I'm looking for gold span. I'm looking for magma opus. Anything like that. I'm really even looking for a March of Swirling Mist. Okay, that thing's gonna get massive. 
And then rune of speed on something. Probably like here. Get hit for like around eight or nine rune of speed makes another one. Looking for a gold span dragon. All right, come on. Come on in. There's no reason not to. Magma Obus. All right, in you go. Stop on your upkeep. Anything they can do to stop us right now? Should we do it on their turn? We only have one mana. We should just do it now. We'll do it live. There. That's it. Tap you, tap you. Four damage. Can you stop it? Ah! Got there. Good game. Feels better to get the win after getting wiped by that mono white last time so much. Guys, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Cairo for sharing your amazing deck list with us on today's video. I do encourage everybody, please go make sure you subscribe to Cairo MTG. Check out all of the amazing content he is working on. He has got tons for you to enjoy. I wanna encourage any other content creators, if you haven't already, please make sure you contact us. We would love to have you on the next guest slot. That's every Saturday at noon Eastern time. Thanks for watching, guys.